Wow. All right, everybody. Here we are at the Burke Amusement Emporium. And today, my good friend Jaden and I, we are going to we're going to take a look at Stern's Ghostbusters. We're going to take a look at Batman, the uh, brand new Stern 66 Batman pinball. The Super and LE. It's the Super, Super LE, LE version. Mm -hmm. We're going to look at one of Jaden's favorite games, which is Food Fight right. by Atari. Correct? All time favorite. Love that game. And uh, we're excited to show you some real fun stuff, so uh, let's get this started. Let's go. Stern Ghostbusters. You know what? I love. Ghostbusters, and I also, I've played this game a couple times. I love what Stern did with all versions of the new Ghostbusters. So, I tell you what, we're going to fire up a game, and Jaden is going to explain a little bit about Ghostbusters. Here it goes. So, I, I really think that, I think Stern really had a home run in this game. Definitely. I agree. Oh. So Jaden, what are some of the some of the key targets that you gotta hit on this game? Well, there's these two targets that come up. The um, the Scolari brothers, they pop up, you gotta hit them. A cool thing is this little ramp. A side ramp up there, it's a cool shot. What I love about this game is once you go up this ramp and it goes down here and the ball drops. Look, a roller coaster just drops straight down. I love that shot. Cool. I love that. That's a, that's a very cool shot. This game has a lot of cool features and gizmos on it. Oh man. Well, wow. oh, there it is. I didn't do the best, but That's definitely okay. a very fun game. All definitely. right, dude. Sure. All right, everybody, let's check out the next game, and it is the Stern. It's the Stern Batman 66. And Jaden, which version of Stern is this one? This is the Super LE version, which is the, the best of the best. And it, it's stunning. Like, the artwork is awesome. The LCD is awesome. And this game is actually, this game is actually special because it's signed by Burt Ward and the late, great Adam West. So this is a real, a real collector's piece. And it, the music is fantastic. I'll actually kind of... City and you can hear the, the original narrator, but I think it's the actual, it's somebody else that actually did the narration. But it's, it's got the uh, classic feel of Batman all over it. Like I said, the play feel, the artwork, and the sound effects, all amazing. And Stern is definitely taking a step forward in uh, doing the LCDs just like the, uh, just like Jersey Jack's doing the uh, the big screen SD. So, yeah, Batman's great. Sound effects are incredible. Oh yeah, sure. Wow, oh, Matt. Oh, wow. There are sound effects. I like it. So what do you think, Jaden? I think it's a pretty cool game. They went, they went all out. Stern went all out. 
and I also love that topper. Look at that. Yeah, that's fantastic. Topper. That's just very, very cool. So now we're gonna play a food fight, and I got these wipes especially for for um, for Jeff. So don't touch my game. Don't keep your paws off my favorite game. Got these good wipes <laughs> for sanitation. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're gonna we're moving our way through the Burke Amusement Emporium. Amusement Emporium. And we are actually heading back to... There it is, back there. Oh boy. Mint. Food fight. Okay, Jane, tell me a little bit about how you guys got this food fight. You know what, Jeff? Um, I played it down at uh, Hopewell at some, a museum. And I just, I kind of fell in love with it. And I told my dad about it. And he surprised me for my birthday. And it's just, I love it so much, and it's in impeccable condition. It is nice. It's just it great condition, plays great, so it was, it was definitely a great birthday You surprise. had to fire up a game. Oh, yeah. You can put those wipes down. All right. <laughs> I'll keep them close to me, though. <laughs> it's just, just the, the concept of, you know, you get, you get the food, you throw it at it, you know, and I'm trying to think, I think that, I want to say that that's a Hall Effect joystick. I might be wrong. There's a, there's a, it's a specific type of 360-degree joystick that Atari used for that. That's what kind of makes this one hard to replicate. And, yeah, this game is awesome. Yeah, I love this game. Yeah, I think this is a must-have for all you serious collectors out there. Good stuff. So Jaden, what's um, what's your high score in food fight? You know what? Funny story about this. Oh, funny, uh, not funny for me, but what happened was I just remember I got home from school. This game was in my basement. I came down. It was in here, the corner. Grabbed a chair. I started playing it. I mean, I was playing like I was doing amazing, my best ever. Um, I'm not doing too good now, but I was doing, doing my best ever. I'm playing for at least 45 minutes. I mean, this is, I was playing for a long time. Just level after level, keep getting more and more extra lives. And then someone came down here. I, I forget who it was. And they turned all the games off. What? Was it your dad? I don't know who it was. I, I forget who it was. <laughs> I remember how, how mad I was. I, but I was, I was playing the game for so long. Oh, man. And I, I was doing so well. Like I said, my, my best... And for that to happen, I was just I was disappointed. But uh, it stinks. Yeah, it was tough. Well, Jane, was tough. I want to thank you, dude. Thank you for showing us uh, a couple of games. Oh yeah, no problem. And, uh, I, I enjoy this, and um, yeah, I said thanks for watching this video. Yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome. All right, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Arcade Hollywood. Special thanks to my good friend Jaden Burke for being a part of this episode. Please check out Jaden's YouTube channel, the Holy Grail Video Game Channel. Also, the Holy Grail Video Game website, www.holygrailvideogames.com. Once again, wanted to give a huge shout out to my good friend Mike Miller and his band Origami for providing me with all the amazing music for this channel. You can check out Origami at origami.tumblr.com. Coming soon to Arcade Hollywood, we will have the Zookeeper Restoration Wrap-Up, the Mario Brothers Restoration Reveal, and an Arcade Vlog Update number 4. Also, I will be at this year's Pinball Expo in Chicago, Illinois in mid-October. So if you're there, say hi. Don't forget, you can check me out on Twitter, Arcade Hollywood at Hollywood Arcade. We are also out there on Facebook and Google+. Please email me with any comments or questions at discohollywood1 at gmail.com. All right, this does it for another episode of Arcade Hollywood. Until next time, rock on!